Welcome back, guys. Uh, I was actually asked uh, by a few of our uh, viewers to review Cub Linux. Now, Cub Linux used to be Chromixium. It is uh, sort of a cloud-based Linux distribution. It's a, an Ubuntu-based distribution, and this is basic. This is the desktop. This is what you see uh, when you download, install, and uh, reboot and hit the desktop for the first time. Uh, it's very, very uh, comparable uh, to what you see if you if you run a Chromebook and you're running the uh, Chrome OS. Now, uh, on the, the dock is actually, and I believe it's Plank, yeah that's the uh, plank setup so what they've done is they've created a plank dock and you can drag uh, applications to the dock but it's set up and, and looks the same as if you were looking at a Chromebook now it's got all of the it's got all of the uh, Google applications chromium Google Mail, Google Drive, YouTube. For file management, it is using Nautilus. I added the terminal uh, to the dock, and I'm running GUVC View, Kazam, and I've got a text file open. Now, before we get into the specs on this system, um, in the we'll take a look at the system tray. I've got Kazam running. This is the basically the power off menu. And then you've got Bluetooth, Wi Fi, volume, and this is the power manager. Uh, it's using the XFCE power manager. Ironically, um, it looks like most of the desktop environment uh, is XFCE related. It's using the open box window manager and then it has the clock here. Now I haven't really changed anything. I've added a few applications but that's about it. Um, if you the the menu is available by right clicking on the desktop now you can change the wallpaper. You've got a uh, basic, what looks like an XFCE control panel. Um, it does have Cub Linux Software Center. I'm thinking that's tied into the standard Ubuntu Software Center. It is Ubuntu based. I'm going to go over the specs in a minute and discuss a little something else with you. Um, but it's pretty much standard XFCE control center. Um, you've got window manager settings, which brings up open box configuration manager. So everything else looks uh, pretty much standard XFCE. I haven't found any bugs in the system. Everything seems to be running fine. Although the system, it doesn't look like it's had many updates lately. So if you go to the website, uh, it used to be called Chromixium, and now it's Cub Linux. There is a forum, a community forum. It doesn't look like it's uh, too uh, heavily populated at this point in time. There are some questions from September, but I don't see anything from October. Uh, so it looks like it's, it's not a, a forum that's frequented uh, too heavily at this point. Um, they do have a wiki. And if you take a look at recent changes, uh, it doesn't look like anything's happened with the distro since April when the uh, ISO was verified by the developer, Rich Jack. So um, now, if we take a look at the distribution itself, it, it is a very nice distribution and it does have its own niche. There are, uh, you know, if you were if you were helping somebody uh, get away from Windows and you wanted to, especially if they are familiar with a Chromebook, 
you might want to um, install this on their PC. Now it is uh, built based on Ubuntu 14.04 so it is not current with the 16.04 however uh, if we take a look at the specs now this is one of the things I wanted to go over with you guys um, when doing a, a Linux review it's it's very easy to overlook certain pieces of information that may be important to you uh, some of you may have different criteria uh, preferences than others but I put together a, a little bit of a spreadsheet that has some of the things that you may be interested in with a particular uh, distribution and I want to make sure that I don't miss anything when I do the distro review so I'm gonna review this format with you and you can leave me uh, some uh, comments let me know if you like this format if you think I should add other things to this checklist or maybe there are some things here that you that we're really not interested in but let me go through this okay so this is I'm trying to standardize the review criteria so I've got the distro name and this one happens to be Cub Linux 1.0 it is version 1.0 uh, this now the system that I'm re, I'm uh, that I installed it on uh, the specs are here Intel i7 4790 it's got an Nvidia GeForce GTX 760 32 gigabytes of RAM and it's on a 240 gig SSD now this particular SSD actually has three other Linux distributions so this is the fourth Linux distribution that I have installed on this SSD during the install there was no option to forego a bootloader install. I prefer when a distribution gives you the option to either install a grub bootloader or not. Uh, this one does not have the option to uh, not install a bootloader. Wi-Fi was my Wi-Fi dongle was available out of the box for the Wi-Fi install. I did not have to hook up Ethernet. The install time was 11 minutes and 18 seconds. Boot is 9 seconds. That's pretty fast. From the time I click on the grub menu until I hit my desktop uh, screen, 9 seconds. The default kernel is 4.2.0-34 generic. RAM usage on first boot was 454 megabytes. CPU usage on first boot was 1% or a little less than 1%. Um, NVIDIA is available through an installer. I did not have to install through the command line. If we go to the applications menu and go to settings, you can see additional drivers. That's where NVIDIA and Broadcom are available to install. However, ironically, Broadcom, I did not have to use the additional drivers menu. It was recognized out of the box. The file manager is Nautilus. Uh, it's listed as files 3101. Window manager is open box. Uh, the desktop environment, that really should say XFCE because that's what it looks like. It looks like it's uh, mostly XFCE. There are 47 wallpapers available and they do have a very nice assortment of wallpapers. They're using nitrogen for wallpaper changing. Uh, there are th uh, three icon sets and 13 themes available. The, uh, it's a default icon Cub Linux and default theme Cub Linux Blue. And as I said, it's Ubuntu 14.04, the long-term support version. Steam, I installed Steam, um, and it, it works fine. Battle.net, I was not able to get it running either through Wine or Play on Linux. So there is no Battle.net available. War Thunder, the installer downloaded from the internet, installed no problem. And for proprietary features, 
Um, there are some, but they're not as easily recognizable as you might think. Uh, if we go into settings, they list Cub Software Center, but I believe it's just a reworking of the Ubuntu Software Center. I could be wrong. Uh, but everything else looks like basic XFCE. Uh, there is a backup uh, utility, but it's not it's not a proprietary backup ut uh, utility. For software, uh, I didn't install much. This is pretty much all out of the box. There is an applications menu. If I click on it, basically it tells me to drag the icon to the dock. If I do that, um, it's basically, if I read this, it says this application menu comes from the, from the Cardapio project, but it's no longer developed and some of the preferences might not work properly. If I click on the applications menu, um, you can see it's, it's basically a revamping of the Whisker menu. So this is Cub Linux. Um, it's the first time I've used this standardized format for uh, distribution review. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, again, Cub Linux hasn't been updated in a while, but it is, I believe it, it is a uh, distribution that has merit, and I'm hoping they don't abandon it. I'm hoping they continue to develop it. I was asked by several of our viewers to review this, um, which used to be Chromixium, which back when it was Chromixium, I did a review. Uh, and so, and I, and I did like it at the time, but this has a little bit different look to it. So guys, that is it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel, and I'll see you soon. Take care.